All right, folks, we are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising action for you here. And oh my god, you know, I didn't think I was going to be making a video. It's, it's 6 a.m. for me right now. I didn't think I'd be making a video at 6 a.m., but here I am making a video at 6 a.m. because Beatrix, Emergency Beatrix patch just dropped. Wake up, honey. Uh, yeah, people have been complaining about this character, fighting this character, all up and down and left and right. I've seen it on my server, I've seen it on Twitter, I've seen it all over the place, right? In comments, everyone hates fighting Beatrix, and they're like, you know what? Fine. We'll, we'll nerf, we'll nerf, we'll drop an emergency patch just for her. Now, there is still, keep in mind, just real quick before beginning, before we begin, there is the 1.50 patch, which they mentioned in the patch where Beatrix came out. That is supposed to be this big, like, full rebalance of the game, like an even bigger patch than what came out with Vayne, right? That is planned to come in August, is my understanding, right? This is not that. This is literally just a quick emergency patch they dropped for Beatrix, so like she wouldn't just, like, take over Evo or whatever, I suppose, right? And all these uh, CEO and a bunch of these other big events that are upcoming. Um, was this necessary? I don't know, but here we are, right? With all that being said, let's hop right into it, right? So, much of your feedback, you guys hate fighting Beatrix, you decided to make some changes, and here is the big boy, right? Balancing Beatrix's riding free skill. If you don't know, real quick, if you're somehow you've been living under a rock this whole time, this is riding free, right? This move right here, right? Light, medium, heavy versions all over the place, right? Low profiles, insanely, some of these versions are unreactable, great combo starter, uh, plus on block for the medium version, right? Uh, and in general, the thing that is uh, shared between all of these is that it is a complete, like one of the most insane low profile moves in the game. This acts like a roll, basically. Anything in the game you can roll through, you can riding free through as well once it's low profile frames activate, right? So for example, a lot of normals, a lot of almost every projectile in the game, right? Uh, so many different things. A bunch of other use skills, for example, that are supposed to like charge through and like be we beat the neutral, it just low profiles those too. This is like, this low profile thing is so strong and this move is the strongest thing Beatrix has overall. So of course, we're starting with that. Balancing Beatrix riding free. We received a bunch of feedback saying you guys hated fighting Beatrix and hated fighting riding free. So here we are nerfing riding free. You know what? Fair enough. Let's get right into it. So light riding free, not the problem. It's uh, safe on block, right? It's more of a mix up option, right? If you're if you're respecting M or H riding free too much, they can light riding free. It doesn't go quite as far, and you, they can bait you out. Not a problem. The main thing, though, that has changed between all of these, all of them now. See, can be blocked midair, can be blocked midair, can be blocked midair. The idea there, I guess, is to make it so that it's more of a reasonable option to jump this, right? You can jump this, and and if if you air block it, you're not going to get like combo, right? You might, you'll probably be you know more minus, but you'll be it's it's fine. It's on option, which is another way to deal with it. Not bad. Medium riding free, here's the big boy, right? Well, actually, here's the second biggest boy, maybe, right? So we, one thing right away, damage reduced from 1200 to 1000. This is an across the board change on almost all of Beatrix's specials. Beatrix was a very high damage character, right? One of the highest damage characters in the game, for sure. And she could get that damage off of many different conversions, right? She was very good at converting hits. Like her max top end damage wasn't like absurd. It's actually, it, it was high, for sure. It was one of the highest in the game. But it's not like Beatrix was doubling everyone else's damage. The problem was that she could get that conversion off of like that very high damage or close to it off of even very small stray hits in neutral a lot of the times, right? Regardless, so they, they're kind of nerfing her damage across the board, and we see the beginning of that here with this M riding free damage nerf. Also, can be blocked midair. Also, change low profile timing, 11 frames to 14. This is a good thing. It's not really going to kill the move or anything, but it just means that, you know, it's a little bit easier to hit this out of the startup of it. It only starts becoming a roll 14 frames in, and before it used to be 11 frames. So you have three more frames on startup to try to whack it out with something if you're if you're fast enough. Sure, why not? Um, and then the big thing here for M riding free, increased block stun by six frames. This is a typo. I'm pretty sure they mean decreased block stun by six frames because if they increased it, we'll get more plus. But the point is, it went from being plus two on block. Yes, it used to be plus two on block. It is now minus four on block. So this was sort of the big, because this, so there's, uh, this is the only reactable version of riding free. I guess this one too, right? The U1. Like uh, of, of the non-ultimate version, this is the only reactable one, right? But the idea is like this, you react to this with a back throw is what you're supposed to do in theory, right? You can also try and hit it with, if you have a, a, a big a big low or something, you can swipe it out. If you're Siegfried, just H fireballs because you're Siegfried and you're better than Beatrix was and you're still not nerfed, so it's fine. Oh, and 1.5, 1.5. Um, but if you, if you just sat there and blocked it though, right? He's plus on block in your face and Beatrix is, her, her up close pressure is horrifying, right? So this was just like, you just do this sometimes, just like Beatrix now is in, this is her wing condition. That move just gave her her wing condition. She's plus on block in your face and she has a character with a command grab, right? She can work up and command grab your ass and she's also got some very, very punishing combos if you, just, if you try to mash in the command grab and get close stage instead. So this was a nightmare move. The fact that it's now safe on block, that's a big deal. That's, that's a huge nerf to this move. Uh, it's, it's not punishable, right? But you just block this now, because before the back throw was the answer, right? But it was still tough, and if you got counter hit, you got a full combo off of this, right? If you timed your throw a little bit too late, you got counter hit at the start of your throw, you got a full combo. So, this is that's a, that's a good nerf. I think that's a, it's. I, I will talk about this at the end, sort of. Overall, this patch is not what I would have done to Beatrix. I think there were more targeted things about her that were truly absurd and broken. That if you just touch one or two of those things, you don't need to do all of this. They did a lot here. We're not near, nearly done, right? But we'll talk about it at the end. Okay, here's the big boy move, in my opinion. 
this is what I think is the worst part about Beatrix, and it's not, they didn't touch very much, right? Does less damage, sure, fine. 1300 to 1000, again, we saw that sort of universally across the board, just keep doing less damage. Can now be blocked midair, wonderful. Reduced knockback when blocked. I, okay, we'll say, I disagree with these, pat with, with the idea that Beatrix, Beatrix needed to get nerfed, 100% I agree. How they did it, I'm not sure I agree. I love this though, because this is just, this is just a little unfair sometimes. I have Fairy on here because he's the perfect example, right? The point of H riding free, right? H riding free, the reason I think it's the problem move, this is like a three quarters of the screen, roughly, three quarters of the screen, unreactable combo starter, right? Especially with clock in the mid screen, this is an unreactable gun to your head that you have to respect, that doesn't cost any meter, right? That is a combo starter with clock. And in the corner, it's, it's, it's the same thing, right? It's, it, without clock, it becomes the same thing when you're in the corner, right? So the thing is, the point of this move was that it's supposed to be punishable on block, right? So if you do just, if you do respect it and crouch block it, right? Then Beatrix is minus six and you get a punish. This is true for most of the cast, but for example, little old fairy here, if we have her set for a uh, fairy, you might know, her far L is eight frames. Okay, so that doesn't work. But that just straight up is too slow to punish uh, to punish that. This far, this two L is six frames, wonderful. But if we have fairy sets to actually do her two L here, right, if you do counter on block, let's have her do crouching L, right? And then we'll do two two H in her face here as Beatrix. Oh baby, isn't that just hilarious, right? Fairy does not have an option that punishes this, and she's not the only one, right? There are a couple of characters, the characters that have like really slow far L's or really small far L's, right? Do not have an option that punishes this at all. I think Terra falls into this camp. Uh, Narmaya Pseudo falls into this camp, where when she's in her defensive stance, the, shorts, the, the sword sheath stance, her far L won't work, but her 2L will, right? See how it's, it's, it's a bit of an inconsistent thing there, right? There's a couple of characters that just can't punish this move, and that should never have been the case. That's just a mistake. The idea with this move is clearly just supposed to be punishable on block, and for, it's just, yeah, it's just miserable that it isn't. I assume that this will make it so that, for example, that right there, the pack is coming out in a week, right? Let me, I, I should have gotten that out earlier, I suppose. But I assume that's going to make it so that this works. I assume this is a targeted buff, basically, to Fairy, Matera, people like that, in this matchup. So that's a good move. There's a lot more that they could have done to this, but we'll talk about it at the end. Let's get through what they actually did first. We've talked about it, and then we'll talk about my thoughts. You riding free. Biggest damage nerf, right? 2800 to 2200, right? This also, you got to keep in mind, use skills when you cancel into them. They have a special thing where if you... Uh, Cancel into a use skill, like you do like far H into you riding free, they take an additional 40% damage cut, right? So taking 700 off the top means that canceling into this move, it's gonna do almost like it's gonna do so little damage compared to what it used to. And getting hit by a raw is not nearly as bad anymore, too. It is now also punishable on block. Increased block stun by sit by by or can kind of decrease block stun. I don't know why they, they call it block stun is not the word looking for here, but yes, it is now punishable on block. Minus four to minus six. So it's going to be just like, or it's gonna be just like H riding free, where it's minus six. This is also minus six now. Right? She has to do the follow-up every time, and she's minus six. Of course, <laughs> they didn't say anything about decreasing the knockback on block here, did they? No, no, okay, they did, they did. Okay, okay, okay. Because I'm, like, I'm like, no way, Fairy just got from one move she can punish to another. Okay, yes, yeah. So this is minus six, and it should be punishable by the whole cast. This actually now makes this kind of... Again, it has a low profile effect on it, so I'm not going to say it's a bad use skill. This is now one of these... The only one of these sort of use skills that is both reactable and punishable on block. Right? Normally, uh, let me let me see if I can if I can pull some people up here. Normally, use skills fall into sort of one of two camps. Let me find sort of the the most uh, natural examples I can of this. Right, use skills fall into like these big neutral skip kill you for getting hit by them. Use skills fall into one of two camps. They're either reactable but safe on block, right? Like uh, like Sora is there, or because 17 you might be like 17 frames. That's not reactable, but it's 17 frames plus the 15 frame use skill slowdown, right? So it's a lot it's 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 a lot slower than it looks like. Uh, so they're either that, and the game expects you to spot dodge them to punish, as is the case with with uh, Sora's, right? Or right, uh, which one is it programmed here? I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, yeah. So or they're either that's a, that's a, a good bit faster right there. Again, technically it's 28 frames, but again, in the heat of the moment, a lot of the times it's like this is a much faster use skill, and it's from from further away, from closer. That that'll be even faster, right? Yeah, 12 frames there. Um, and the use skill slowdown is not like it doesn't just it adds to your ability to react, not your ability to do anything. So also, if you're stuck in a move, right, you will get like you'll be you'll see your character slow down doing the swings, just getting that whiff punish. Wait, or they're like see the, a five frame difference right there, or they're faster like Grimnir, but they're punishable on block, right? Uh, Anila's U char uh, charge sheet they gave her a new patch is also like this. It's fast, it's unreactable a lot of the times, but it's punishable on block. Uh, same thing with Grimnir, right? Sora's U uh, punch is reactable, you have to, and you have to spot dodge it. But if you don't spot dodge it, it's safe on block. Same thing with like Ladiva Ulariot, for example, right? Ladiva Ulariot, you're expected to spot dodge on reaction, otherwise you, you die. Similar idea. Uh, now, Beatrix, this her 2-2U two has actually become the only U skill that I can think of off the top of my head that is both like very easily reactable and punished one block, right? It's actually, again, it, it has a, uh, a feather in its cap that no other U skill does, which is that it still has this insane low profile effect on it, right? But, like, it is it is not super fast, right? And it is still punished one block. So that's very interesting. Uh, 
a, a big nerf, for sure. A big nerf overall to this, right? Just making this punishable. Okay, what you used to have to do was spot dodge it, and the spot dodge is a little bit finicky. Now you just down back, and you get a you get a crouching or a crouching light or far light punish into rating strike every single time. All right, so Sapphire Slice, right? So uh, this is again the follow up that she does after riding free. It is optional out of L, M, and H, and it's mandatory after she will always do the slide into the to the follow up in you riding free. This can now be blocked midair, unless it's the U version, that's fine. But again, yeah, if she does a follow-up, she can't smack it out of the air, it's something. Reduce knockback distance and use the follow-up to riding free MNH. So again, this is, uh, I assume, reduce knockback distance. It doesn't say on block. I assume this basically means that it wall bounces from 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 closer, it has to be closer to the corner to get a wall bounce, which is, that's also a nerf to her combo conversion ability, for sure, it's a pretty big one. Because right now, basically, like my, what I'm saying is, um, the distance at which, if I set Fairy to, I guess I, yes, let's, let's set Fairy to not block here doesn't block, right? The distance at which you will get this, right? This wall bounce effect here should be, it should be, you have to, you should be, uh, basically you have to be closer to the corner now, post patch is my, is my assumption, right? Like from, she can get it from pretty far away as is, right? Like, will this do it? Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, she can go even further away. I assume that this knockback distance will be reduced because she already carries you a bit there when you get hit by it anyway, right? So that's, that's good. That's, that's a nerf for sure to her, her combo conversions of uh, from, you know, further away from the corner will be lower damage. Without that wall bounce, you can't really do a lot, right? But just less damage straight up when used from H riding free. No longer a true block string when used to follow up to M riding free. So if she tries to like, because it's now it's now safe on block right instead of plus. If she tries to like steal something back, I think this is I think this is like super punishable right. Like doing these these follow ups. Let's set fairy to block this. If I do oh no. if I do two two M and then this, it's like really minus no. Yeah yeah, yeah. she's she's minus twelve. But I guess it's even more so now. You can just also interrupt her in the middle because it is reactable. So sure, just even more nerfs to that. Understandable. So yeah, overall like riding free got touched pretty hard. Again, I'll just kind of, kind of give you a sneak peek of what I think. I think that the biggest problem overall with H riding free was H riding free being unreactable. And that's the biggest problem with riding free as a whole. And we'll talk about why in a sec, but I'm surprised that they didn't, with all these frame data nerfs, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Um, but yes, the other thing, obviously this is this is all very similar here, but oh my god, with this, uh, this they just really don't want Beatrix to do as much damage as she did. Um, Beatrix was a high damage character, right? She was a very high damage character. And this is a nerf on every one of her combo specials, right? This is the projectile, right? The H projectile does 400 less damage. And this again, scaling will apply on top of this too, right? Uh, U projectile does less damage. This isn't really a combo move, I don't think. Maybe she can, I guess, end combos with it properly. It's not a combo starter though, right? L Thunderbird, less damage. M Thunderbird, 400 less damage. Uh, H Thunderbird, 500 less damage. So, like, these are big, like, you gotta think about it. It's not just like, oh, she has 500 less damage here. No, because a combo is going to include this and this and this and this, right? So it's a 200 damage nerf here, a 300 damage nerf here, a 400 damage nerf here, a 500 damage nerf here, right? Like every si like every single part of her combo got like chunks of damage taking off it. Uh, Beatrix is, I think, actually going to do like, rel like relatively average, like maybe even slightly below average damage now. Like th this is, these are big hits, I think. He's still gonna get have good conversion ability, but they also touch conversion ability. Uh, H Thunderbird is apparently they fixed a bug with it where Okay, so the the third hit, the burst of flames, has would hit behind her, and they didn't expect they meant me for that to uh, to be the case. And also, hey, look, a, just a little bit of a Beatrix buff snuck in here. Her far H got a buff. It now you can't roll it. Sure. Else, this also means that Beatrix can now far H her own riding free. Right, far H is now Beatrix in the mirror can far H riding free. If you can't cross something over, cross over what they call the roll. Right. Well, at least that's what I call it. I call it the roll. The game calls it crossover. So I have, I have a smash background, I guess. So yeah, like this, right? It's like guard button and forward, guard button and towards your opponent. This here, right? They, that that the evasiveness of that works the exact same way as riding free, aka if the hitbox is above the knees, riding free goes through it, roll goes through it, right? So now far H can hit riding free, which is fine. Here's another big thing: Delta Clock Gauge now refills at 30% speed while performing the Delta Clock uh, skill. What does this mean? This basically means I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna be able to get two double Delta Clock combos, which she could get for her optimals, right? When she had clock and she got a good, a good starter in the corner, she could hit you with two delta clock skills, which is it allowed her to extend the combo and do like so many heavies in a single combo because of delta clock slowdown, right? So that's also another nerf to her combo damage, right? So this is a nerf to her like her optimal combo damage. This is a nerf to us, like every single one of her confirms. Beatrice's damage got touched really, really hard. Like it's kind of insane. She went from probably being one of the top five hardest hitting characters in the game on average to like again firmly middle of the pack. I don't even know if that count. Like she might. She's doing like. You know, like, like 15k as an optimal or something, which is I, that sounds like a big, but like as an optimal, that's not a lot, right? Um, on three BP, uh, on no BP, sorry, that's what I mean to say. The point is, 
meaningful nerfs, meaningful touches to, to Beatrix's damage uh, for sure, and Riding Free also touch. So that is that's where the the actual official patch notes end. Right, it's gonna go live on June twenty fourth. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video. If I didn't, my apologies. But it's, it's so it's not live tomorrow, right? Or it's not live today. It's it's live a week from now. Um, but okay, so that's that's it. If you, if you just wanted to come here to see what was new, there you go. Uh, and if, if then like what, how that will affect things, I, that, there's my break. There's the breakdown for you. Um, you know, if you, like, subscribe, bells, join the Discord, check my Twitch. Love you guys. But I have some thoughts on this, okay? And and hold on, put the pitchforks down. Put the pitchforks down. I just want to be very clear before we get started. Beatrix deserved to get nerfed. Yes. Uh, was she the only? No. Like there are lots of other characters that deserve to get nerfed too. But fine. She's a DLC character. She's new. They did an emergency patch. We're not gonna do like an emergency patch right now for like Siegfried or Nier or something. Doesn't make sense, right? But sure. Beatrix deserved to get nerfed. But I think a lot of people, in my opinion, didn't really understand what made Beatrix as crazy as as she was, right? Her damage was high, sure. I guess the damage nerf if you want. But at the end of the day, her damage was... I think she could have kept her damage and been made a reasonable character. And here's how, right? In my opinion, the three... The, the, the trifecta of things, that when you combine them, make Beatrix as powerful as she is, right? First and foremost, number one, this fucking thing. Being unreactable, right? Being, if we... Uh, first active frame, 14. Like, And there's no useful slowdown here, right? 14 frames, you are not reacting to that in a fighting game. Right? You, you can react to that on the human benchmark test, for sure, but not, not in a fighting game. Right? 14 frames, that shit is not happening. So this move being an unreactable, when she has clock up, an unreactable mid-screen combo starter, right? Is just, and, and it, it, when, when you're not, when you're, when you're not in, the, when she doesn't have clock, it's still a combo starter if you're like this close to the corner, right? From here, she'll still get a wall bounce, right? So they, they, they nerf that, that's good. Uh, but you know, it, it, they, they announced like it's a combo starter from here, sure. That's not really that much of a difference. Uh, but the point is, that move was such a gun to your head. Now, wh now what am I talking about with the trifecta? This means, especially when Beatrix has clock up, which she gets for just losing, right? She killed half clock up at some point, right? Now, you just have to respect, you just can't play neutral against Beatrix. Why? Because you can't not be stand blocking, because you're not gonna reaction crouch block in time, because it's unreactable, right? So you have to just crouch block. You definitely can't throw out anything that isn't a low, right? Which, I mean, people's lows tend to be their most punishable options, right? To have, to have the most recovery. Uh, but we'll get to that, right? So you can't you can't throw up buttons either because riding free low profiles. So if you if you try to like just play neutral and poke her out with like some some heavy buttons or something, right? She's going to just go under it and then you know full screen uh, unreactable combo starter we've talked about. Uh, and again, you're, I mean your lows. If you're just sitting there throw, like being very consistent throwing out lows, obviously lows have a very very strong weakness to them too, right? So you can, like, you can, if, if she knows you're gonna do that, she can whip punish you. She's got honestly like her far H is a pretty good button. Some flower buttons are not great. So this is a great button. And guess what this button fucking combos into. <laughs> Right, so now we're back to the same problem. So that's the first part. That's the biggest part. With that being unreactable, what does that mean? When Beatrix has clock, you have to do this. If you are not doing this, you are risking your life. Right? You are risking your life, especially for one of the characters who can't punish this. But again, that's going away in the patch. But what is not going away in the patch is the fact that when Beatrix has clock up, and even sometimes depending on screen position, when Beatrix doesn't have clock up, you just have to respect two to H, or you're gonna die. So you have to down back. Okay. So now Beatrix has one neutral for free without spending any cooldowns or any meter. Amazing. Cool. What do we do from here? Uh, well, Beatrix is a fast-ass character, right? She, she got that soul bad guy ass run. Amazing. So now, because and I'm just an exaggerated situation. Right? You're not always going to be down backing, but the point is, you do have to two two H has to sit so high on your mental stack, right? That it just lets Beatrix do this. Okay, cool. Beatrix has done that. You don't react to that shit either, right? Like that's, that already has to be pretty high on your mental stack for you to just catch her running up at you because she's really fast. So it's her move speed and her two two H. Then what? Okay. Well, Beatrix has a command grab, an unreactable command grab. Okay. What do we do about this? That's not that bad. It, it hurts her, right? It doesn't do that much damage to me. It gives her clock, first off, right? So if you're respecting 2 to h and she's not even at 30%, and not just got clock, right? But she has a command grab that's unreactable. If you don't want to get hit by that command grab, well, it's a 50-50, right? You gotta try and mash, or I mean, got jump, but I mean, jumping gets you killed in this game. So you gotta, you gotta try and mash her out of the command grab, possibly, because mashing will beat command grabs most of the time. Uh, and if you if you try and mash, and it's, you're in at the wrong time, well, I got, I, got some, uh, I got some bad news for you. This is where Beatrix, you know, this this where this where you talk about like highest highest combo damage in the game type of nonsense, right? I don't even know the Beatrix optimals, but like you get the idea, right? Like, like because she has a command grab, right? She can hit you with close up. I think one of the reasons people got a lot a very people, people I think had the wrong idea about Beatrix's damage in the sense that it is very high, but people thought she was doing like double damage of every other character because people just I don't think a lot of people did not realize how insane of a combo starter close H close H is, right? This. Counter it close H with the close H. Lots of characters get this, and this leads to be like, oh my god, Beatrice can break 10k damage in the mid-screen. Yeah, like half the cast can. That is not uncommon. It's but the thing is, you have to hit this close H, close H starter. Counter it close H. And Beatrix had the easiest time of anybody in the game doing this. Why? Again, 
you have to you have to respect 2 2 H. So he, a lot of times he does get to run up for you, uh, run up on you for free. If you I mean if you're trying to stop this by poking crowds, right? Guess what these pokes explicitly lose to, right? It's this. Right? So you have to respect 2 2 H, which lets her run up on you for free a lot, and you're at 50-50. And if you guess wrong on a 50-50, you, you, you die, right? And if you guess right on a 50-50 and take the throw, he has clock up now. So 2 2 H becomes even scarier than it used to be. This trifecta of things, I, in my opinion, was the really, the truly unbroken, uh, unbalanced, broken thing about Beatrix. And none of that was touched. Her command grab is still unreactable. 2 2 H is still unreactable, right? And she's still really fast. Is she going to get slightly less reward off of this now? Absolutely. I mean, even significantly. If you get like 20% less damage out of, uh, off of this on average. Is it still going to be like weirdly toxic to fight her in neutral? Yes, absolutely. Right? They made 2 2 H more punishable now. So that's good, I suppose, right? But this, in my opinion, was the big problem with Beatrix, though that trifecta of things, and none of that shit was touched. Is like, is this move being plus on block a little bit belligerent? Sure, but like, there was consistent counterplay of this of back throwing, of back throwing her, and like, when it did happen, it was not like, oh, oh, well, you know, boo hoo, she got back thrown. No, like a lot of times when she did this, she got back thrown into the corner and was now like losing the game, right? So even though it was hard, it was like there was consistent counterplay to it. And I mean, worst case, uh, you, you, you can like, you could still like the I like I like the air block nurse, for example, and you jump over this. I like that, right? But 2 2M was not like, oh my god, 2 2M is so broken. Right? It was good. It was a good move. Right? Um, but making it sa safe on block? Sure, fine. But again, the big problem, in my opinion, was H riding free, her move speed, and her command grab. That combination. And none of that shit was touched. Which is why I think Beatrix is still pretty good. Right? Like, like uh, obviously, everyone, it's, it's way too early to tell. Everyone's going to be talking. People, I'm sure, people, I, I'm at 6 a.m. riffing right now, so I don't care to look because I just don't care about what Twitter has to say most of the time. But I'm sure Twitter is co going aflame with, oh my god, they killed Beatrix. I paid $25 for this. It wasn't $25, but I paid a billion dollars for this DLC character, and, and, and Arc System Works shot her in the head, and she's bottom five, and the character's dead, and she's unplayable. As, as Twitter likes to do whenever literally anyone gets even the slightest minor touch to them. Them, right um beatrix is not fighting for like top five or i mean some people thought top one i don't i near and siegfried are just too good right i don't, I don't know what people are talking about really but like he's not fighting for like best character in the game anymore surely after these nerfs i can tell you that but like beatrix is still really good man like let, let, let's like you know let's 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 just let's review here right M riding free is safe on blocks. So this is not like a free neutral win option for her. This still is, right? It's, it's still, it's, yeah, okay, sure. Yes, it's punishable on block, and it's, it's punished by everyone on block very consistently now, yes. But again, I mean, you just have to use this to win neutral for free, right? The reason this is a free neutral win option is because he, it, the threat of it is what makes lets her win neutral. She doesn't have to even press this button. Because if you're not respecting this against Beatrix, you will very quickly learn to against Beatrix who knows what they're doing, because they're going to take H riding free you, and you're going to die. Are you going to take 20% less damage? Yeah, it's, instead of taking like uh, 7,000 damage, you're going to hit by this mid screen, you'll take. Uh, five and a half thousand damage you know it's still a big chunk of your health if it happens to the corner you're gonna take like nine thousand damage instead of ten thousand damage still it's gonna the, the move is still an, an absurd thing so she still has really really strong neutral with riding free right uh i mean the pressure that comes out of her fireball the pressure that come, and her conversion ability off the fireball right the plus on the plus frames from thunderbird which has a, to be fair a counterplay in, in spot dodge and like this like these moves as far as their usage and their utility for her and her pressure and her offense and and her neutral has not been changed at all these do less damage right so like, her, her general pressure structure is completely the same, right? M writing free not being plus, obviously, is, is, is a nerf. It's a sizable nerf, right? But for the most part, her neutral, the thing that made her neutral insane, is still there, right? Her damage is lessened, but still going to be fine. Like, still, Grand Blue is just a high damage game anyway. It's not like, like, her having average damage now means that she, you know, two touches fairy instead of 1.7 touching her, which, it, sure, fine, right? Um, you, you writing free is punishable on block. This is actually, this is a big deal, because this move, this, this is probably, at, like, unironically, this is actually maybe besides the damage nerfs right this is probably the most uh, meaningful thing they've changed because this move used to be pretty tough to spot dodge consistently to get a punish on and i just down back this and it's reactable right you down back this and it's reactable and it's punishable it's like so, like i actually have no idea why you use this anymore instead of this right outside outside of uh, using it in a combo or something for to like, get that little last bit of damage why this is just a strictly worse version of h riding free now no it's it's half the speed and and it's it's just it's punishable just like it Right, so this 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 move actually got hit really hard, I think. Um, but I, my so I, I'm kind of rambling here a little bit, which I apologize for. But my general point here is that I think that Arxis is going to get what they want out of these nerfs, which is that um, Beatrix's overall power level probably sits where they want it to sit now, in the sense that she probably is, you know, she's like roughly. There's 32 characters in the game. Beatrix is in like the top half of characters for sure. She's maybe, you know, maybe somewhere like the top 10 in this game is really hard to crack into because the top 10 characters are very strong, right? But she's like on that. He's probably not a top 10 character, but she, maybe, maybe. Again, I'm, I'm just all, I, I need to just because this is such a bad like thing that happens in this community that I just need to, 
I am speculating, and I have like I have no way for, of, of saying for sure. I'm just saying what might Arxis have been aiming at, and do I think they targeted it? There is no way to know for sure until Beatrix has been in the game for a couple of weeks and we play with her with these nerfs, right? But my guess is that Arxis was targeting to make like a strong character, but not, not, not a top tier, right? And I think that's probably right. I think they got there. But I think they got there in a way that is less healthy and less fun for both the people playing the character and people playing against the character. Um, people are gonna. Th I think people, a lot of people's problems with Beatrix are not gonna be solved here, because um, they're still gonna get robbed by H riding free the exact same way they used to, and it's still gonna be annoying for them. It's gonna take. They're gonna be. Able, it's gonna be able to. You know, take 1.2 times more of that or something. But you're still going to get absolutely blown up when this character hits you with H riding free in a lot of cases, right? On ironic, like this, unironically, might be the best, the second best nerf in here because this makes H riding free worse. Because it makes it so he has to be closer to the corner to get the full wall bounce. We'll see how much reduced knockback distance is, but this might actually be the second most um, meaningful nerf because of that. So, what? So I think they've kind of weirdly turned Beatrix into a gimmick character a little bit, where she just has one absurdly powerful thing about her kit now, right? In the sense that her like again that that two two eight command grab move speed trifecta is still a hundred percent there, right? Uh, and then the rest of her is just like relatively her damage is average, right? A lot of the like some of the other belligerent things about her, like so this low profile effect, the fact that two to eight sometimes is just like unpunishable, like this this move too, this move being completely honestly is not very good anymore in my opinion, right? Uh, this move being uh, safe on block instead of plus on block, like a lot of the other things that were strong about, and she still has like solid buttons, right? But, but a lot of the other things that were strong about her were kind of nerfed down to be like average or below average, right? And the thing that is I think still the most broken about her remains the most broken. So Beatrix is this weird jagged design of a character now where she's not really anything special except for the one thing about her that's the best in the game right like that to like um siegfried h fireball is the best fireball in the game bar none because it just wins neutral for him for free for no meter but all he has to do is spend an ex cooldown right riding free does that without her spending the cooldown right like h riding free is is one of the best moves in the entire game in my opinion and it's just completely untouched and now the rest of her is weirdly average. So she's this weird, like, valley, gigantic peak valley character, which is, he's a weird gimmick character now. He's like, he's like Ladiva, right? He's actually like Ladiva, uh, which is weird. I mean, because Ladiva in a, is horrible. Ladiva's worse than Beatrix, let me not, right? But Ladiva is horrible. Um, but then she has, like, SPD really might be, like, the best move in the game that nobody talks about, right? SPD is, like, the best move in the game. And then the rest of her is ass. So Ladiva is this weird gimmick character that just robs you sometimes. And people, everyone hates fighting Ladiva. Beatrix is just a better version of Ladiva now, right? Most of her stuff is average instead of ass, like Ladiva's is. And then one thing about her is like maybe best in the game. And most of your matches with Beatrix are gonna be, you know, either gonna just like it's gonna be a, a fine like back and forth match of Grand Blue, or sometimes it's gonna get completely robbed by H riding free, and you're gonna be like, this character sucks and I hate fighting her. It's gonna feel like fighting Ladiva, which I, I I play Ladiva, I love Ladiva, I love fighting Ladiva too, but I'm biased. Everyone I know hates fighting Ladiva. And I think they have turned Beatrix into Ladiva in a weird way, right? So I don't actually. I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to balance out. I understand where the devs are coming from, and it's very clear that they have intention behind these nerfs. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't claim to understand their game better than they do, but I don't think personally this is how I would have done the patch. Okay, that's that's that's, that's sort of the, the summary there. If like on, a, if you, you want it, like you want, like the maybe I'm wrong, but I'm 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 just, I'm just one man. This is a whole team of developers, right? And there's lots of community that doesn't highlight these things with the problem with Beatrix, right? So maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm fully wrong. That it's, it's maybe even likely that I'm wrong. But my version of this patch looks like. I don't know, man. It's much shorter. I, I'll tell you that. Unironically. Unironically. H riding free. Reduce knockback when blocked. I love this nerf. All these all, all these cannot be blocked mid-air nerfs. I like those too. I'll keep those. This move is like, I don't know. Uh, this is 28 frames? This move is also 28 frames now, maybe. Right? But the thing is, he always gets a guaranteed combo off, is, is the point. Right? The difference between this and this is this is a combo starter, and this is only a combo starter on counter hit. Right? This move is also 28 frames now. I think that's the end of my Beatrix patch. Genuinely, until 1.5. I, you might be like, oh, you're an idiot. No. If you just do that, nothing else changes. You can, you know, if you want her for damage a little bit, sure. Like, because her damage is, probably, like, her conversion ability is probably too high. Like, we, can, we can do, like, some of these damage nerfs, maybe. Right? Fine, fine. But this move is 28 frames, and maybe nerf, like, half as much of the damage nerfs as they did here. And that's my Beatrix patch. I think she's now, uh, she's a very strong character, still probably, like, fighting for top 10 or something. But it's okay. She, like, characters can be strong as long as they're just, like, not super degenerate, right? And this, I think, was a generous thing about her. This move is 28 frames. Her damage is nerfed slightly. That's it. Patch done. And I, I love these. I do love these. Reduce knockback when block. This is a wonderful idea. This is this is just a mistake, I think, that this wasn't punished by everyone. That's it. Because then, this whole trifecta falls apart. If this is one, this is 28, that's what 28 frames looks like. That shit is reactable as hell, right? If you, if you have a similar answer to 228, where you can back throw it, 
the whole house of cards falls down. Now she can't, he doesn't win neutral for free, which means she has to actually fight her way in a neutral with Fireball, which is very punishable, right? Very, you can, there's things you can do about this. There's counterplay to this, right? Her just running up, there's counterplay to that, because you don't have to just respect 2 2 H, right? Her buttons are good, but like, you can definitely be outboxed by a lot of people. Her buttons are not amazing by any stretch, right? Far H is probably the best thing that she's got for neutral, because it confirms so well into a lot of stuff. Suddenly, Beatrix has to actually play the game in neutral. And then she just, she's, yeah, she's, it, it, she has one of those characters, she has to play the game in neutral. When she gets in the corner, she absolutely murders you. That is most of the cast. Boom, that's it. Pack solved, right? That music got a lot louder all of a sudden. <laughs> Good old Dokkan Gogeta theme. Um, so I'm, I'm confused. I'm, that that would be my version of this, I'd say. But we'll see how this plays out. We'll see if they touch her further in the 1.5 patch, too. I... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've gone on for long enough, right? Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll cut it out here. But yes, those are the Beatrix patch notes. Those are my thoughts on them. I disagree with how they, they, they did the patch, but I think their objective here was accomplished. I think they were just aiming at a general power level for Beatrix, and they got there. I don't think that she got there in the healthiest way she could have. I think this patch could have been a lot simpler and done, like, literally just make 2 2 h reactable and nerf her damage slightly, and that's it. We're good. Everything else, I think literally everything else could remain the same about her, and then suddenly we're good. People might disagree with that. I know a lot of people, if you guys disagree with that, let me know. This is, this is a good time for discussion, right? Just be, be civil about it, please, in the comments. And, like, don't doom too much. Again, this character's still really strong, right? Don't. You know, don't don't be like Twitter. What I'm, listen, I don't know what Twitter is like right now, but I'm I know, I'm sure I know what Twitter is like. Right now. I haven't seen it, but I'm sure I know. Okay. Um, yeah. All that being said, that is gonna do it for this here video, folks. Uh, it is 6:45 a.m. I'm gonna get back to work, I guess, because I just interrupted my uh, my little night shift there. Uh, but with all that said, if you made it this far in the video, as always, if you're new here, welcome. And uh, yeah, I got some things for you before we go. Obviously, like I said, when we midpoint of this video, any sort of likes, subscribes, bells, we greatly appreciate it on this video. As always, any support, it, it not only helps the algorithm, which is a great thing, and I appreciate that wonderfully from you guys, but also, it helps me. You know, it gets me feedback. Like, you guys like this kind of video, you didn't like this kind of video, I should make more of this and less of that, right? It, that, that feedback is good for me, because at the end of the day, my goal is to make stuff that you want to watch. Right, and you can help me figure out what you want to watch with those little buttons right there. You can type comments, too, but I mean, that's too much work. A little button hit like that, that tells me a lot. Um, Besides all of that, there's also a link in the description if you'd like. You can join my Discord. People are going crazy over this uh, link right there. Someone actually, this is how I learned about it. Someone linked it to me, and they were like, bro, they killed Beatrix. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, they didn't. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yes. So if you want to go in there, it's a nice community. You can hang out. We got 500 plus people in there, and they're all awesome. Uh, so if you want to come by, learn some fighting game stuff, you know, or otherwise, so it's, not, it's not just a fighting game grind server. Either people talk about card games, gotcha games, art, music, relink, Elden Ring, gotcha games, whatever you want to talk about in there. So it's a nice community if you just also hang out and make some friends. So I encourage you to join. But if you do join, be nice. The reason we have 500 people and it's still really nice is because I am very militant about removing assholes. If you're going to be an asshole, I'm going to shoot you. Right? So just don't even bother. Don't even join if you're, gonna, if you're not going to be like, just, you know, treat, like be kind to people. It's, it's, it's that's so hard to ask. Uh, besides all of that, there's also a link down there for my Twitch stream. Uh, I am not streaming the week this is coming out because I'm very busy right now. And I'm, that's why I'm working these night shifts and stuff. But listen, man, Beatrix News comes out. We're doing Beatrix News. But the week after this, I'll be, I'll be back to streaming again. If you want to come by and hang out, watch the streams, think of a good time. Otherwise, you can certainly just drop a follow. That would be greatly appreciated for the same reasons as the YouTube stuff. Most importantly, I hope you guys had a great time hanging out today. I know I sure did. It's very interesting. Uh, again, this is not the direction that I would have taken Beatrix, but I, I, I see what the vision devs are going for and I respect it. And they could be right. I could, they could be right and I could be wrong. Right? But this is not what I would have done. Uh, but it's still very interesting to talk about this. I hope you guys can have a good, good discussion with this uh, in the comments, too. Uh, yeah, having a lot of fun with Grand Blue. It's going to be very interesting to see how these uh, these uh, these changes affect her when it drops on the 24th. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!